In the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the God beginning. created the vast and dark expanse of the heavens, of the heavens, of the heavens, of the heavens. Of the heavens. Then, he created the first light in the form of giant balls of fire called stars. And God used the stars like a mighty furnace to bake like one bakes bread. And he did so for epochs upon epochs. And from the stars God took what he had baked and formed the earth and the moon and other places like the earth that were made of rock. But on them he did not make man. And God set the earth to roll around a star like an apple rolls upon the ground. And that star is called the sun. But the other stars God set at a great distance from the earth further than the east is from the west. And so the light of those stars is small, like a man coming from a long journey appears small on the horizon. The sun to govern the day, and the other stars and the moon to govern the night. And he saw that it was good. Genesis says, Earth came first, then sun and moon, and finally the other stars. Study of the universe reveals the opposite. First came generations of stars, without which planets would not be possible. Instruments like the Hubble telescope allow us to literally look back in time to see these processes occur. Genesis is either not a literal account of history, or the God of the Bible is a deceiver who alters time and space to fool people. If time machines prove the first 18 verses of the Bible are wrong, why make public policy based on the assumption that the rest are right?